All right, so Jonathan sort of had a, a happy little accident, as Bob Ross would say. Um, basically, what he did was he was trying to create two positive forms that matched the surfaces, um, matched this and matched that, um, to create his cap at the end. And it was pretty interesting um, to look at it, but basically what you would do in that case, and I'm, I'm going to try using a mirror method. It might not work, but I'll try it. Uh, so if I do a mirror, I'll select this, and I'm just trying to find a quick way to give me the alternate. No, that's not going to work this way. All right, you know what? I'll do it. Actually, I know how to do it. So um, control, shift, that. OK, nope. Control shift and grab the surface. So you can actually create a secondary extrusion off of a surface right here. Um, and once you select the surface, you do extrude surface. And it's really easy um, using, it's just like extrude curve, except you do extrude surface. And it allows you to create another extension off of that edge. So it's a totally secondary form. From that. And so you can do the same thing with this one. Uh, let me put it in wireframe so I can make sure I'm grabbing the proper surface. So wireframe, make sure I grab that top surface right there. Now the difference here is that since it's at an angle, I'm going to have to change the direction of the extrusion most likely, I think. I don't know. So extrude surface. Oh, look at that. All right. So it borrowed the same property as the angle of that surface. So that's good news. I don't have to do it. Uh, I didn't have to manually override the surface extrusion. So um, this is kind of a start. What's that? Um, so this is going to be kind of a start, but what I want to do to be safe, once I put it in this here, um, you'll see that the two surfaces are oddly enough coincident there. and coplanar here as well. So that could actually work really well. Mine happened to be exactly coplanar at the ends. Yours might not be. Um, but essentially, if it's not, then you just want to pull these out. And I'll, I'll pull it out and show you. You just pull these out this way a little bit. And then you can trim down the remainder afterwards. But here's the really important part. Using Boolean functions. Because all we did was draw an extension between these two surfaces. If we do Boolean intersection, the result is only the form that is intersecting two different forms. So it's the same process. We go here. It's this one right here, Boolean intersection. And it says, select the first set here, hit enter. Select the second set here, hit enter. And it didn't work for me. Why did it not work for me? This is totally coincident. No, because it actually joined them like it's a Boolean union. No. Uh, yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it like this in its native form. Let's give that a shot. That, enter, that, enter. Still not doing it. Try assigning it to a different layer. I don't think that'll matter, but no. Hmm. It worked so perfectly back there. Did what did you create them with, Jonathan? Same way?
Did your Did you do one and it worked? I'm gonna try this. Pull them out. And it'll explode. And I'll try joining them together again. Oh, that's why. It doesn't have an interior edge. It's not capped. Haha. We have resolution, I think. So, okay, yeah. So because these are <laughs> extrusions, and I just didn't have the uh, solid equals yes turned on, I should be able to just type in cap, and it should close it off, which it did. So now it's an enclosed solid, and this one should do the same. Cap. There we go. All right. So now these are these are solids. I should be able to move it back into place. Not move face. Move from there to there. And I'm going to stretch this and this out. So it should work as planned again. Um, and so the command again is a Boolean intersection right here. So you go one, two, and let's hope this works this time. Boom. So it just gives you the remainder of those two surfaces that you extruded, which is like mega powerful, I think. So at that point, you're kind of just left to your own devices to, to um, create booleans and start trimming it off, essentially. Going like this, pull it off, go uh, boolean difference, and uh, subtract from this that, and that's good to go. Pretty clean, I think. Very nice work, Jonathan. I'm going to start calling you number one. All right. Cool. So are there any questions about this?